What's, What's up, up brother? brother? I'm Maddie. And I'm Trinity. And welcome back to NAC News. Over the last weekend, the drama department was in full swing with the musical that they had performed on April 6th, which was Matilda. This week at North Andrew, on Monday, April 8th, there was a junior high track and field at Mound City. Then there was also high school baseball at home versus King City. On Tuesday, April 9th, high school track and field was at North Platte, and at 5 p.m. there was a title parent night. Wednesday, April 10th, the only thing that there was was an FCCLA spring planning meeting. Thursday, April 11th, the ABC countdown begins with Aloha Day. Juniors have the ACT on Thursday. Junior high track and field is at North Andrew, April 11th, and high school baseball will be played at Albany. On Friday, April 12th, the ABC countdown continues with Blue Jeans Day. The blood drive will also be held at North Andrew, and the high school track and field will have a meet at King City. With that being said, Mr. Hahn, the high school assistant track coach, stated, I think the season is going great. Tuesday was our first meet where we had everyone there. We had four out of eight of our team medal, and I am so excited to see how they progress throughout the year. On Saturday, the high school scholar bowl has a district tournament at Mound City. In the the next week, we have no school on Monday the 15th due to a teacher in service. Then we have multiple track meets and baseball games, FBLA State Leadership Conference, and FFA State Convention. Have a great week, Cardinals. Did you bring your Eclipse glasses? I mean, I have these ones, but they didn't do me very well. <laughs> well, why has the store on the Eclipse? On Monday, April 8th, there was a solar eclipse. Many people took time out of their day to look at the rare celestial event, including here at NA, where we got out of classes for a bit to view the eclipse. A solar eclipse is a rare occurrence that happens when the moon goes before the sun, creating a shadow on the earth, as opposed to a lunar eclipse, which happens when the earth is between the moon and the sun. Despite most sunlight being blocked out, it is still dangerous to look at the sun directly, which is why we have glasses designed specifically for it. The last total solar eclipse in Missouri happened on August 21st, 2017, nearly seven years ago, and the next one is expected to happen anywhere on Earth until 2026 or until 2045 in Missouri. Basketball trivia. Who pulls up from the logo during basketball games? Uh, Michael Jordan. <laughs> LeBron James. <laughs> Caitlin Clark. Electra and Kira have a story on Caitlin Clark this week. I was born on January 22nd, 2002 in Des Moines, Iowa. Ironically, her number is also 22. Caitlin played four years of varsity basketball at Dowling Catholic High School in Des Moines, Iowa for coach Kristen Meyer. Caitlin was so good at the game, she was recruited by the NCAA Division I basketball program before she even went into high school. She had gotten her first letter of interest from Missouri State University when she was in sixth grade. She decided to go to the University of Iowa and play for the Iowa Hawkeyes. During her freshman year, she was the first freshman to win the Don Staley Award for which means she was the best Division I guard in her division. As a sophomore, Caitlin became the first continuous winner of the Don Staley Award because she won it again. Her junior year, 
She scored 191 points in a tournament and broke the men's and women's score for NCAA tournament. Her senior year was obviously important to her, so she had made it count. She quickly became the 15th Division I player to reach more than 3,000 points in her career and was second fastest player to do. She is now the all-time NCAA scoring leader with a total of 3,685 points. Caleb ended the season being in the top 10 players of the year. She has recently announced that she will be joining the 2024 WNBA draft. Her performance throughout her high school career, her performance throughout her career has caught the attention of many new fans. More people are starting to watch the games due to her skills and impressive abilities. I'm Maddie. I'm Trinity. Thank you for watching NAC News. Bye, brothers.